This is the beautiful Mary Somerville, who was a mathematician, geographer, philosopher, artist, scientist, writer, astronomer, pianist, and committed wife and mother. Mary Somerville was born in 1780 in Jedburgh. Until she was 24, her life was based in Burnt Island. She was a highly intelligent woman and driven to self-educate. Women were not given a full education in the way that their male brothers were. This is her home. She and her brother would swim in little coves. Uh, they would avoid going to church and get a severe reprimand from the minister. She was captivated by the wild landscape that met her eyes every day. Her father was away at sea a lot. Uh, he was uh, quite a famous captain, William Fairfax. He found her at the age of 10 to be, in his words, a little savage. And he sent her off to a boarding school in Musselburgh, where she was put into a metal corset with a platform that came up to the chin, holding their head upright. She hated that school and didn't seem to learn very much there. Getting out of that school felt like a wild animal escaped out of a cage. Mary was given a small globe of the heavens, which she used sitting on her, the window ledge in her bedroom and trying to understand the different constellations. She worked out through her observations that there must be another planet out there. And in fact, uh, Neptune, some years later, was discovered. Mary's first husband was the son of Admiral Gregg, uh, reputedly the father of the Russian Navy. He died in 1807, leaving her a widow with two small sons. She and her second husband, William Somerville, who was a surgeon, when they lived in London, they would dine out Charles Darwin, Sir Walter Scott, their circle of friends were these people. And after dinner, the entertainment of the night was sharing experiments. Through that, Mary Somerville's knowledge broadened. I think for many years, um, no interest has been taken in her and very few people would even know that Somerville Street was renamed in her name. So now that we will see Mary's face on a £10 note, I'm sure this will inspire many young girls at school to find out about her and be motivated.